being from Phoenix, Arizona, I took a lot of pride in, in putting on that Suns jersey every single day and uh, really relishing the opportunity to be able to do that and be in front of my hometown fans and all my family. So uh, I like to say those are my favorite days of basketball, those, those three years that I had with the Suns um, and really helped to shape who I am today and kind of how I make my decisions. And there's Allen Williams. Big sauce with the turnaround jump up. Ready, nothing but net. Man, that, that first Phoenix basketball experience for me was insane. So I got back from China I think it was like mid to late February. And uh, I remember having a workout probably eight or 10 days after I gotten back. I hadn't really been working out too much. I didn't feel like I was in great shape, but my agent called and said, hey, the Suns wanna work you out. And I'm like, oh, dang, let me lace up and get out there. So I get out there and Earl Watson, head coach of the Suns at, at, at the time, ran the workout. And like halfway through, he stopped it and said, you know what? This isn't helping you out. This isn't helping us out. I can tell that you just got back and you're not in the shape that I need you to be in. Come back next week, let's do this again, be in better shape. Um, and immediately it was just like eye opening, like, oh my goodness, what the heck is going on? So I get to the car, I call my mom. I'm like crying on the phone, like, mom, I, I ruined it. My only opportunity to be able to do this. Um, I, I can't believe I did that. And she's like, get in the gym, get in shape and come back next week and show them who you really are. And uh, I think that the, the, the rest is history from there. So I, I went back in the gym, got right, went back for that second workout, impressed them enough to get a 10 day. Um, through those 10 days, signed a regular rest of the season deal, played summer league, signed another deal, and then signed a multi-year deal with them moving forward. So um, just that, going back to that point about how important my family is and how they've been in my whole life, uh, they, they've always put nothing but belief in me and it allows me to go out there with a lot of confidence and uh, play with the energy that I play with. I'm a big mama's boy. I'm not afraid to say it. I like being around my mom and being close to my family uh, just because they inspire me to be greater than I can be on a regular basis. Seeing my parents in the crowd brings up so many emotions, you know. Um, they've just been everywhere that I've been. They've been to China. They've been to Russia when I played to Russia. My dad went out to Russia. France, Italy, you name it, even in college, Hawaii, Alaska, they've been there. And so it's, it's almost weird not to see them there. You know, when I, when I get overseas and I play and I don't get to see them at every game, it's a little weird. But the emotions that come with seeing them there, supporting me, I'm sure they're gonna be in lime green and black head to toe. Uh, it's gonna just put a big smile on my face. A bigger smile than I, than I typically have when I play anyway, so. The Williams family will be in full effect in the NBL, so be ready for it. They're coming around Thanksgiving time too, so that means I get a good meal. So all the boys are gonna come over. I am really enjoying Melbourne. You know, it is, it's a really cool place. Um, much bigger than I kind of expected it to be. I don't know what my thoughts of Australia were prior to getting here, but I kind of thought it was just going to be a bunch of like desert landscapes and getting to Melbourne, it being a just really diverse, really nice city uh, was, was really nice for, for me and um, felt really welcome there off the rip, so it was great. Hey, what's up? You're my favorite. Oh man, I appreciate the love. I appreciate the love. I think the thing I really want to be able to do the most is like see the landscape of it and travel to as many places as I can. So anywhere I go, I tend to want to explore and, and, and really get the feel of, of where I'm at. And I feel like Australia is a really cool place to do that. Uh, I think seeing a kangaroo would be awesome, obviously. Crocodiles obviously would be really cool too. And I've seen both now. So um, I don't know what else is on my list, but I, I'm really welcome and, and open to any of the opportunities that kind of come my way to, to get out and do some stuff.